Welcome to Heartland Dual Sport. In today's video, we're going to be continuing on to Michigan. It is day four of this multi-day moto camping trip, and for the most part, I've been solo the entire time. Well, until today. Today, we're going to Tippy Dam, and we're going to meet up with Tummy and Bear from the Brotherhood of the Bearded Pigs. So, let's get to the video. Again guys, thanks for tuning in to Heartland Dual Sport. If you're new to our channel, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Dale. We've been taking a really nice road trip all the way from East Texas up to Michigan. And today we're going to be going on into Michigan. And again, we're staying at the Tippy Dam Recreational Area. On my way there, I had to stop at one of the state park centers, whatever you want to call it, because I'm not 100% certain. But you stop at the state park center and you get your permit that way you can go to the use the state park state land and they give you a tag for your for your motorcycle went in there met one of the nicest ladies she was very very nice to me in fact i probably talked to her on the phone three or four weeks before the trip and i called her and make, tried to make sure i could buy it in person they only take cash so i took cash with me and it was actually very affordable the little pass was only like six bucks for the year or something like that for the motorcycle so it was really cheap again just kind of interacting with some other people and now we're getting into some weather that's much cooler i'm really digging it now because you guys know that i've been wearing that climb gear it's hot down here in east texas it was hot in arkansas and it was getting cooler the further north i went but it was really starting to feel good here's a funner <laughs> here's a fun story for you that takes kind of an interesting twist you guys know how much i brag on my little garmin and how much she's helped me or saved the day in past videos but today she's messing with me kind of like siri so i'm within 50 yards of the tippy dam state park or whatever or let's just say 200 yards i can literally see it the road that she has me going on it just looks like a little blip in the road well that little blip was actually a huge canyon big drop off and a big river and on the other side of that was the actual campsite. So I studied the map, looked at it real close, and, and just for the record, I want you to understand, I wouldn't have rode a mountain bike down this steep canyon. And then if you did, you'd need a, you would need a raft or a ferry to get you across the river. You're not riding a bike across it. I don't care how talented the Garmin thinks I am. It's just not going to happen. It's not doable. So... I studied the map, figured out a way that I could loop around, took me maybe an extra 20, 30 minutes because there's no real close route. You kind of have to go around four or five miles back and around. Came in from the north because she brought me in from the south. So anyhow, when I get there, Tummy's already there and he's got his hammock. He's setting it up. Of course, you know, I'm looking at the addresses on the little campsites. I know we're going to Camp 20 and there's like 17, 18, 19, and I'm thinking 20 will be down here. And then I hear him, Dale. So I turn around um, and I didn't know for sure. So I pulled up into this one camp site and the people were like, no, he's over there. And I'm like, oh, okay, thanks. And uh, it was kind of comical. It was just one of those deals, you know. So I pull up into the campground and again, Tommy's getting his hammock set up and he's it welcomes me to the camp and it was just really really nice so the one thing that I don't know if any of y'all know prior to YouTube prior to setting up the Gen 3 tribe group on Facebook I didn't really know these guys at all we met through Facebook or excuse me we met through YouTube because we all have KLR 650s and we just kind of through conversation we kind of built a relationship up enough to where it was like hey I want to come up and see the north I, I know when i was on my trip out east it was just hot and every single day you the heat was I, i've had plenty and i was thinking you know this time of year most guys on their motorcycles they head north i mean that's why they have sturgis basically at the same time frame you can go up there get out of the heat go ride around in some cool beautiful areas of the state the united states and that's what i wanted to do the added perk was is these guys were willing to meet me and they're willing to show me around I get my camp set up or my tent set up at camp and Bear's on his way it, not too much longer after I got basically my tent set up and I'm just kind of milling around camp visiting with Tummy 
and then Bear showed up. We talked for a little bit. I, I didn't, I can't say I helped him set up his, his tent. He kind of has his little deal mastered just like I do mine. I can get it done pretty quick by myself. And he did the same thing. And then while I was setting up my camp and a big thank you to Tommy, he was processing all the firewood for the camp that night. This was the first time I've had a campfire since last year at deer season because we just don't have them a lot here in Texas. And to be honest with you, it's been so dang hot. We haven't even wanted one. But it was really nice. It was just a picturesque campsite with the campfire going. You got your three KLRs stacked around the campfire. You got three guys standing around the campfire. And then lo and behold, Bear bust out some steaks, throws some steaks on the campfire, and we had a great meal. It was just a wonderful day. Be sure to check out next week, because next week's adventure trip will be a week from today. Every Thursday we post our adventure videos. Show and tell videos are always on Mondays. But next week, I'm gonna be taking you guys, along with all three of us, as the Brotherhood of the Bearded Pig show us around their beautiful state. Guys, we rode through rain, we rode through gravel roads, and, and I don't want to spoil it, but we've seen some beautiful, amazing things, and I can't wait to bring that to you next week. We're going to end on a good note. We're going to sit around the campfire and visit for a little bit. You guys have a blessed week, and as always, let's go ride.